steps into this unholy place. Do not try and hide from me, human. Even with my eyes stitched shut, I can and will find you. This, I promise, as the last Nephilim. Your scent is familiar somehow. Are you... Are you the angel of mercy sent to set us free at long last? Come now. I won't harm you. <laughs> Smart one, giving yourself willingly to mankind will earn you a spot. A very unfortunate one, as my mate. Even the slightest act of kindness may very seal your fate. It's been eons. No matter. Remain where you are. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> yes, now you must move, mustn't you? This castle, this labyrinth is just one large expansion of myself. Every stone, every nail, all of it would shudder and readjust as I saw fit. It was worth gouging my eyes out, being able to command this power those eyes only caused harm before, anyways. A small price, really. There you are. No. If you run further in, it will eat you alive. Mercy, mercy, please come back. angel do you not know where you stand you stand at hope's end where all my kind were banished to and locked away for our crimes yes Where once we stood with him, we were banished for loving and taking human mates. Many of us fell, one by one, to that siren song, until it was just me. The one that imprisoned us called me the king of Nephilim, which really is saying I am the king of nothing. 
fitting given my home being in a sinkhole of my paralyzed brethren and the rotting castle. It will be all of our home until we are forgiven. A name? I suppose I did once. I seem to recall it had a nice meaning to it. Something like faithful or strong. What of yourself, Mercy? Hmm. I've not heard of that name. Yet, I have been down here a very long time. It is pleasant to the ears. You came here by accident, then. I see. I suppose hoping you were an angel of mercy was too much. Though, something to premiate. The insufferable quiet is quite nice. It's so quiet here that I can easily hear the rats scurrying in the walls. Sometimes, even the screams of the humans chattel beneath if the day is particularly harsh. Oh, they are humans that abide by a demonic master that treats them like chattel. I can do nothing about this, unfortunately. And I dare say, I've grown bitter enough these young years that I'd rather be poor about trying to save a human soul. You wish to examine my eyes? Yes, I'm aware the stitching is infected. It's not exactly hard to miss, given the pain. Ugh. What is that? Why is it cold? Why does it sting? To help treat the infection? <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Do you feel the walls speak? Teasing, taunting. So close to collapsing and burying us here together. The air is already stale. You wouldn't be able to breathe for very long. Do not fear, human. As I said, the labyrinth and I are one and the same. I could easily relocate you to somewhere much safer. Somewhere where even the squalling and squealing of the quadruple slaves beneath couldn't bother you. Need to get back, hmm? Yes, I could fly you out of here if I wished. Now, now, I did say if I wished. Why not? I told you, human. This castle will eat you alive if you let it. And you, despite being surrounded by subterranean horrors, 
the looming shade of agonizing death, even seeing the gaping maw of the unknown have shown kindness to a Nephilim. This Nephilim. Your Nephilim now. <laughs> I am blind, darling, not stupid. You and I both know I can't just come up to the surface with you. Not when the sun blisters me as it does. Try not to protest. You will grow accustomed to this lullaby of distant droplets, the groan of yawning caves, and the skittering clacking of the insects that burrow within the walls. And I will be kind to you. My heart hasn't completely withered, and, well, you are my angel of mercy tonight. If I cannot be an angel myself, then perhaps. By all means, if you wish to run, then run. But you have no idea where you are now, do you? It's all shifted and almost drowning lost your focus. Where, oh where, would you run to, my little mates? Where, 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 indeed? Oh, you're praying. How cute. It's a shame that he doesn't tend to listen. Busy, 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 I'm sure. Now... Come here, darling. Let's get you ready for your new life with me, shall we? It's fine, human. Cry, pray. Do what you need to. I had a hard time adjusting as well, initially. But we'll have each other this time. That will make it easier, I believe. <laughs>